Hi guys, I'm Emily. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reading, but I'm not going to be reading just any books. I am going to be reading the books that I chose from my May TBR and I'm going to be reading that because I got a lot of books on my physical TBR and I picked a lot of books for my May TBR. So we're going to be getting through it. And the first book I am going to be reading is The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber. This is the second book in the series and the series is called Once Upon a Broken Harm. I don't know, I like the first one, but I heard that a lot of people like the second one a lot more than they like the first one. But I believe that is usually what happens when you read a series. You either really enjoy the first one and the rest of the series is like so-so, or you like the first two books in the series and then the rest of the series kind of flops or the whole series is good. So I will see what I think of it, but we are going to be reading this book first. So let's get on with it. next day and I've been reading this book pretty fast but yet also very slowly I am on page well, what page am I on 140 or chapter 18 and so far I am enjoying this book a lot more than the, the first book in this series just because I know the characters I know Evangeline and then I also know Jax and I I there's more at stake in the second book there's just so much more action going on it's not only like romance but it's also a lot at stake where Evangeline's life is at stake um but it's been at stake since the first book so <laughs> it's not saying very much about her but I am currently feeling like I am in a book slump just because I don't want to film videos I don't want to read books and I am struggling but it's not because of this book. I'm just saying this book is amazing. And I think it would be around four or five stars so far with how it's going. And I don't know. I just feel like I'm in a slump and I am right now going to try to get out of that slump. Hopefully this book really gets me out of it because I don't know what else to do. <laughs> so let's continue reading and trying to get out of this book slump. I am going to push through this slump and finish reading this book.
finished The Ballad of Never After by Stephanie Garber and I ended up giving this book a four and a half stars. I am not going to spoil anything so I'm going to just tell you what I feel and kind of what happens not really spoiling it but what happens in the first book so the first book is about Evelyn Fox and Evangeline Fox and Jax. Jax is the king of hearts he's a fate and he basically saves Evangeline and he gives her three kisses that he gets to collect at random that's the premise of the story and just kind of follow along as Jax asks for the three kisses at random and you just follow along as Evangeline finds out different things about Jax and just her life and everybody else's life around her. And I think I liked this book a little more than I liked the first one. Just because there's a lot more at stake in this second book. As well as I think I liked it more just because I know Evangeline now. I know Jax. Even though in the carnival you get a glimpse of Jax. You kind of get to know more about Jax in these books. Because Jax had like little glimpses. And even then, I liked him in the Carnival series. But I like him more in the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. Forgot to mention. This is the second book in the series. The first book is Once Upon a Broken Heart. But I enjoyed this one a lot more than I enjoyed the first one. The next book I'm going to be reading is Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. Here is a clip of my husband choosing this book. Okay. So I got two books. This one and this one. Mm-hmm. Do you want to choose one? Uh, what kind of mood are you in right now? Uh, I don't know. This sounds looks more like a. This is rom-com. romance. Yeah, and rom-com. this is a romanticy, which is a romance slash a fantasy. Well, this one looks a little more fantasy, fantastical, and serious. So, what, what's your mood right now? Do you want me to tell you what they're about? What would the book you just finished was it about it's a romanticy are you still in that mood yeah all right romantic all right this one <laughs> <laughs> this one yeah okay so divine rivals i do not know anything about divine rivals all i know is that this book was super hyped up and that a lot of people love it and that a lot of people say that this is um one of their favorite books and i have been putting it off just because it has been so hyped up, I've been nervous to read it. In my May to BR, where I choose the books for what I'm going to read for May, I do say that maybe Divine Rivals is going to be just like Fourth Wing, because Fourth Wing was super hyped up and I was nervous to read that book. And then I just decided to read it because I had nothing else to read. And I absolutely enjoyed it and I understood the hype. So I'm hoping that Divine Rivals is going to be the same as Fourth Wing. Where like, yeah, it's hyped up, but maybe it actually is hyped up for a reason. So we are going to check out and see if Divine Rivals is worth the hypes. Oh, 
なんでだっけクスクスいくー You film all of it too Yeah, I filmed it It was perfect, right? When you set it up too You lucky I was gonna move this first and then set it up Oh, don't do it Then I have to film and I'm just crying <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. When did you have time for all this? Today. It is the next day, and I didn't get very much reading done last night just because, or yesterday, I didn't get very much reading done. I got to chapter six, which is page 47. I don't, I got tired yesterday, I believe. Yeah, I got tired yesterday. And I just went to sleep and I only read six chapters. So I am hoping that I will be able to read more tonight. So let's get on with reading. reading Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross. The reason it took me so long to read this book, it took me like a week to read this book, is because I finally started working at a real job besides doing YouTube and I had no time for this because I was at work almost every single day but I finished Divine Rivals and I am still stuck on my rating. I do not know whether it's a 4 stars or a 4.5 out of 5. I am between those two right now i still can't decide so it's like four 4.5 and i really enjoyed this book i did say that it was a little hard in the beginning to get into this book but when i got into it i was just eating up the book and i was just not able to put it down because it was so good if you do not know what divine rivals is about it's about this girl who decides to write her brother who is currently at war and she writes letters and these letters just disappear but turns out these letters are not going into not not going to her brother but they are going to her, her rival because she's at a magazine not like at a magazine but as at a newspaper theme of all what do you call them a newspaper thing and her rival there is getting the letters and he is later on writing her back but she does not know it is him and so they kind of fall in love through the letters and you get to see her realize who it is and it's just a really cute story like i really enjoyed it i just i don't know is it one of my favorite books no am i wanting to read the second book yes just because we were left off on this like cliffhanger and I want to know what happened so maybe in my next book shopping vlog I'll get this book but I have so many books on my list and I need to finish a lot of my physical TBR so this is the book honestly the two books I read this this past couple days have been amazing I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in the next one Ciao!